in today's video we are going to start what we are going to start 2021 solved paper of your gate psychology all right so this is the way we teach our students how to solve the pyqs and how to take immense benefit from these pyqs all right okay so let's just start right away first of all question number 1 according to the path goal theory of leadership a style of leadership in which the leader consults with subordinates involving them in the decision making process all right okay so this question is coming from which topic it is coming from your social psychology and in social psychology you will find a topic named leadership there are multiple theories of leadership as we can say trait theories situational theories fdc model and all of that but here what they are asking is they are asking about the path goal theory so first of all we will talk about our favorite book can you find this question in your favorite book so you will not find it in the favorite book all right okay so this is a new theory path goal theory approximately around 1971 by r house okay and it has four components in it and all those four components are mentioned where we will look into this right away okay so a leader is concerned with what a leader is concerned for his or her followers and what he is doing a style of leadership he or she is following a style of leadership in which the leader consults so he or she is consulting with this person with this person with this person with this and with this with subordinates involving them in the decision making process so whatever the decision they are going to take all of them will be involved okay all right so now here is the trick here is the game now the question is asking what is the process called so there are four steps participative directive supportive and achievement oriented so all these are components of what all these are components of your path goal theory okay so for moving forward for your gate examination if you are watching this video so be careful that path goal theory comes around 1971 given by whom given by r house house and then it has four components what are those four components those four components are participative directive supportive and achievement oriented all right okay now if you don't know about this theory it's completely okay but you have what you have common sense if you are watching this so you have little bit of common sense you can apply so whenever a leader is going to consult what you can think what you can assume it will be participative directive supportive or achievement oriented just apply simple common sense what would be the most appropriate answer you can think of all right so we can say approximately 50% of people with normal iq 100 iq common iq simple knowledge they can apply and they can tick on this option participative all right because what is happening a leader is consulting with the subordinates there is no direction given by the leader over here okay so this cannot be the option there is no support given by him each and everyone is supported by everyone everyone is involved in the decision making process and it is not obviously achievement oriented all right so by simply applying simple common sense simple iq you can answer this that this is going to be participative all right so make sure that you remember this for your upcoming examinations and upcoming years when you will be giving this examination of gate psychology that path goal theory should be in your mind okay this has been asked previously so now in near future they will be going to ask it again and if you follow this complete series by us you will get to know eventually how these pyqs will help you a lot okay so what is the correct answer the correct answer is participative and this is we are discussing about 2021 okay so you will find this paper very very easy as compared to latest ones okay all right now we will move forward to what we will move forward to question number second but from question number first what you have gathered in social psychology there is a topic called leadership in that leadership there is a theory number of theories trait theory behavior theories fiddler contingency model and all that there is a model of indian model anti leadership also and there is a path goal theory given by robert house in 1971 and it has four components and what are those four components those four components are participative directive supportive and achievement oriented now what you have to do you have to find out what all these three means and then you are good to go with this complete theory now moving forward we will move on to question number second all right okay again it is a easy question and you will find this answer this book this is a sort of applied question and you will find in our favorite books okay 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 a process to test reliability now the question is asking about reliability which we can say our unit number first or third whatever it is in gate psychology that involves create a creating a large bank of items so what you are doing here is creating a large bank of items means 
from 1 to 1000 items you have put in your questionnaire or test and then dividing it into different versions. What you are making here is different versions or creating two tests with items of similar difficulty. So items are similar difficulty. Question is pretty simple, pretty easy. You just have to make sure that you are clicking on the correct answer. Now let's look what are the options. Alternate and parallel form reliability, measure of test homogeneity, test retest and inter reiter reliability. So what we will do, we will start elimination. We already know the correct answer is what? Correct answer is alternate and parallel form reliability because what happens over here is a number of items have been added in our questionnaire and what we are going to do is we are going to divide it into different versions version a version b version c maybe or creating two tests with items of similar difficulty we will make two tests of our similar difficulty okay so this is the correct answer alternate and parallel form reliability but why it is not a test of homogeneity because we are not measuring anything measure of test homogeneity we are not doing over here it is not a test retest re because simple a test we are not giving after 15 days okay to a2 all right so what is happening over here on day one we give test a and then again or after 15 days or a fortnight we are giving same test again so we are not doing this thing here so this is not going to be the answer test retest and what about inter rater there are there is no single test to whom one two three four raters are doing the reliability for that so c and d is completely not the option d b is also not the option so what is the correct option Correct option is alternate and parallel form reliability. Okay, so for in alternate form reliability, what we are going to do is we know where we have two types of things over here. We have delayed type also and we have immediate type also. Okay, and what is this? This is what you have to find out for your upcoming examinations. They might ask about this also because they are asking in net examination. I guess they are asking about this. So you must be aware of this for your gate examination as well. Now moving forward, we will go to third question. Delusion of reference is a symptom of schizophrenia in which people, what are they going to do? Delusion of reference is a symptom of schizophrenia disorders in which people believe that random events or comments are directed at them. This is the correct answer. Believe that their thoughts are being broadcasted? No. Believe that they have superpowers, special powers? No. Because we are talking about delusion of reference. Have sensory experiences in the absence of stimulus. There is no hallucination. There is nothing happening like this. Okay. So what is the delusion of reference? It is believing that random events or comments are directed at them. So in schizophrenia, what you need to study right now is in schizophrenia, there are positive symptoms. There are negative symptoms. Negative will add on to behavior. Sorry, positive will add on your behavior and negative will decrease from your behavior. As well as there are multiple delusions, delusion of reference, delusion of grandeur and all that. So you must be aware of all those delusions or positive symptoms and negative symptoms. You will find questions like these coming again and again. So as of now, what you know is delusion of reference is believing that random events or comments are directed at them. Pretty simple, pretty easy. You will find these in the general psychology books. All right. Now question number four, a student who has prepared inadequately for an exam like you, like me, like us for an exam because nobody is going to prepare it thoroughly. An exam attributes his failing grade to an unfair test. What we are saying is we are saying or, the, or this student is saying is that it is an unfair test cheating by other students. They have cheated. They have paid money. They have got their certificates by paying money or a professor who taught badly is expressing what he is doing or what she is doing over here is projection, reaction, formation, repression and rationalization. So what is going to be the correct answer over here is it is option number A projection. Okay, the so projection is the correct answer over here. There is no reaction formation. There is no repression. There is no rationalization. So now let's try to break this down. You know the correct answer. It's pretty obvious projection. But from where this topic is coming, it is coming from your what it is coming from. Let's change the color of the pen. It is coming from your DM. What is this? This is not Instagram DM. It is your defense mechanisms. All right. So approximately 10, 9 defense mechanism are there. So you must know each and every one of them because this is question called as applied base. This, this is not, not direct question. This is applied base. Do you know projection what it is? How it, it can be applied? Do you know about reaction formation? Do you know about repression, repressing the memories? Do you know about rationalization? Grapes are bitter. All right. So th these are defense mechanism which you must be preparing for your upcoming examinations as well. Okay. This is an important topic and you will find questions like these when we will move ahead. How 
it gets repeated how they are repeating this question pattern all right now this is the fifth question and this is the question from your emotions okay emotion will always be a hot topic you just need to study these four theories basically and you are good to go with this which of the following theories of emotion best fits with the statement that perception of an environment situation results in emotions and both felt emotion and bodily reactions and emotions are independent of each other but triggered simultaneously now basically is what they have tricked the question over here but triggered simultaneously both the things are happening at the same time both the things are happening at the same time so what will be the correct answer lazarus cognitive appraisal theory no shakter and singer 1961 happy man angry man experiment no james lang theory first body then emotion felt no they are asking about what but triggered simultaneously both the things are perception of an environmental situation results in emotions and both felt emotion and bodily reactions so body physical and emotion is happening what is happening simultaneously and what will be the correct answer correct answer will be your option number first kenan bard theory okay so option number a is your correct answer over here because why not other options because james lang will say what it will say that the body is acting first there is some physical response first then the emotion is being felt so this is not going to be the answer about shakter and singer there is no label thing there is no cognitive labeling thing there is no cognitive label thing mentioned in this particular question as well as there is no appraisal thing mentioned by lazarus cognitive appraisal theory there is no appraisal that the threat is being happened there is no appraisal so this is not going to be the answer and the correct answer will be option number a kenan bard theory so that's all for now in the next video we will discuss if you like this video if you um understood what is being taught or told and you are gathering some insights about your subject your psychology your paper pattern and your syllabus so make sure you like the video make sure you comment down if you have any doubts regarding your preparation and in the next video we will discuss what we will discuss question number 6 and we will also discuss from where this question is coming all right okay so right now what we have done is we have just discussed five questions but what knowledge we have gathered now we will discuss about that which is way 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 more important than just okay option a option b option c option d all right so this is how we taught our students they have cleared net jrf and approximately you guys will be clearing gate also so what is what we have learned so far is first of all we learned about pg theory path goal leadership theory by robert house and 1971 it has four steps then what we did we did about reliability we have discussed about alternate test retest and one two options more then what we did we learn about schizophrenia about delusions positive negative symptoms and all of that then what we did fourth one was your this was your emotions about emotions theories of emotions it will get repeated 100% each and every time in every paper you will find questions regarding emotions all right so one number so all these questions are for one marks all right so easy one marks are there for you on the table and fifth one was your defense mechanisms all right so now these all topics are very very important for your upcoming examination whatever you are preparing for and if you are giving in 2025 it is also very very important so make sure you are thorough with all these topics and eventually you will find out as soon as we complete this series you will find you don't need to study anything apart from what we have done in the pyqs only so if you follow all the pyqs thoroughly you will be qualifying this examination very easily scoring high see you all in the next video make sure to subscribe the channel if you have not yet downloaded or we can say join on telegram you can do that by link given in the description below till then see you all